Now crews still working to remove crushed steel and repair damaged railroad tracks after a train derailment in Atlanta. Our Trace and Bragg live with details and you also Trace and spoke to some concerned folks who live in that area about things like that happening before. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Karen. Yeah, the folks that I spoke to today actually live in this community and take a look at how close their homes are to this wreckage. We jumped. He jumped. We jumped. It was it was really loud. Extremely loud. Gray Wilson tells me he and his best bud Ferdinand were out on their routine walk last night just after eight when they heard a terrifying noise. Just imagine a train being lifted up and dropped on the ground. The pair made their way closer to the nearby railroad tracks and couldn't believe their eyes. I couldn't even tell what I was looking for. It was just steel on steel on 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 the gates that come up and down. And it was just a crumpled mess. That's when they noticed this derailed train lying on its side like a beached whale. I heard now that it was too, too hit, too collided, or there was one left on a track or something. Norfolk Southern owns the wrecked train. A representative of the company tells me their investigators are working to learn exactly what led to the locomotive and six rail cars hopping off the tracks. This morning, our chopper caught the company replacing tracks destroyed in the wreck. Some people thought it felt like an earthquake. Margot Edwards also lives just a short walk from the railroad rubble. She tells me she's worried about how this man-made problem will affect her community. I know I heard reports from the other side of the tracks of a lot of diesel fuel running down the road. Now, Norfolk uh, Southern tells me that they were able to contain that diesel spill before it reached either of the two waterways here in this neighborhood. The company also tells me, luckily, no one was hurt in this train derailment. We're going to continue to fight for more details and fight for answers for this community. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News. That is frightening. Trayson, thanks so much.